you know, I know that uh, one part, you know, one aspect of trying to uh, make an NFL team is the mental aspect and uh, you know, the emotions that are involved of, you know, trying to, you know, do something that you dreamed of, of doing and growing up, you know, wanting to play in the NFL and uh, the mental aspect of competing against guys who have been in the NFL or who have, you know, been in the process and who have had a lot of workouts and have been in the mix. You know, with me being out for two years, uh, what do you see as some of the challenges mentally uh, for me to try to get back in and make a team? Well, there's really only one challenge. And the challenge is, is can you take all those scenarios that you just articulated and put them by the side, wayside, because they don't matter. It's your foot hitting a ball. And since it's your foot, your body doesn't have any idea where you're doing this, how many people in the stands, who you're kicking next. It's only your mind that tells your body all those things and would make it freeze up or not perform the way it's capable of. So the nice thing about the kicking and punting part is that whether you're punting in the Super Bowl, whether you're punting in your backyard, whether you're kicking field goals over a tree, it's your foot hitting a ball and that's all it is. It's never any more than that. So we create situations in our mind that change what we think the activity is. Well, I gotta make this field goal. Yeah, your foot hits the ball the way you've done a thousand times, but there's 30 seconds left. Only if you tell yourself there is. So the, the challenge will be to, under, to always keep it the fact that when those thoughts come in your mind and somebody says something to you like, well, this is your tryout and you gotta do really well. Well, every, if you have, to being given your best effort every time whether somebody's there or not it won't make any difference so the humbleness of giving your best effort all the time no matter where you are will supersede and, and trump all those other emotional things that people try to put upon you to tell you wow this is your dream this is what you're trying to do your dream is to master kicking a football that's all your job is is to kick the ball to the best of your ability every single repetition and you don't need, all the periphery won't make any difference. Um, I, Jeremy Kapanos, who played for me in high school and then played at Penn State, who I've been training since he was in 10th grade, he, he came in the last part of the year for the Steelers and ended up going to the Super Bowl. So seven weeks ago, he's on his couch and now he's playing in the Super Bowl. So it's a perfect example of, he had a couch mindset and he had to train by himself and now he's performed in the Super Bowl and he averaged 51 yards. So what was the mindset? He really understood that it's only about punting the football with my foot hitting the ball. That all the other things people say and all the other media hype really doesn't have any effect how he punts the ball because it's in his hand and it's in his foot. So that's the, really the challenge is, is to, to recognize when people try to make it more than it is and to discard those thoughts and enjoy hitting the ball with your foot and not let anybody tell you that it's any different, because it isn't. And if you take pride, whether you're working out with me, whether you're by my, yourself and nobody's watching, or whether there's 80,000 people and it's a game-winning kick, you can do good anytime, anywhere. But if you start separating those things and say, well, this one's more important than the other one, that's when you'll fail mentally. So um, that's the pluses and minuses of the, of the mental aspect of doing it. But there really is only one challenge, and that's you controlling your thoughts and keeping the skill what it is. It's a, it's a football contact, and you're doing it to master ball flight. You, so it'll fly the way you want it to go. So. All right.